So today I'm again in my van because I want to share with you how I keep myself clean. I mean the hygiene that I can um, use inside here, which um, is probably very important for a van lifer. Even if I don't live in my van, but if in case I have a situation where I can't go to the campsite or uh, I can't wash myself uh, in some places, I have an option inside here to wash myself in my little very small van. The same is about the toilet because um, in the beginning I didn't have any toilet but then I realized if it's really cold in the nighttime and I have to do a liquid stuff, um, yeah, it's not very mm, comfortable to go out from my car, go um, uh, in the bathroom in the nighttime. So I prefer to stay in my van and have the opportunity to go to toilet. My idea was to buy something that I can sit on. It's not too big because yeah, the space is what it is. So I found this on Amazon. <laughs> I'm always by, I find everything on Amazon. I have to say, I know it's uh, sometimes you say, yeah, Amazon is a business killer because uh, yeah they have everything but indeed they have I don't find any stuff that I bought in this van in any other um, shop so yeah I order on Amazon and I found this on Amazon it is a normal you can say a normal um, bucket but he has this seat on it which i can use like a normal toilet then what i use is i take a normal garbage bag and put it inside and in this garbage bag i use this pallets here and this pallets absorb very well the liquid stuff and I can really if I put an amount of this pellets inside my um, toilet I can use it for four or five times without any smell it is really really a good uh, solution for me because um, yeah I don't have to go to the toilet outside in the nighttime or in the morning if I want to stay a little bit longer in my van and what I put, I put these cushions on this bucket and it looks like a seat. For the solid part, um, go to toilet inside a small van like mine is not really recommended because the smell is really bad. <laughs> I I had once an emergency. I I used the toilet for this kind of work, but honestly, no, <laughs> it's not a good idea. Uh, anyway, but you can do it. I mean, I have my dog bags for Dylan and I, you can also poo inside these bags, close it up, but still it smells. It smells really bad. So no, not, not a good option. So this is my sink that I made with a Ikea bowl and I just made a hole inside. And this I also bought uh, on Ikea and this one is a tap which is with battery and yeah um, if I want to wash myself I just make hot water with my gas stove I put this I close it and I just put the water inside here and I can wash myself very well in my van if I need to so as you can see underneath my sink 
There is the water tank I have here. And this is the gray tank. And this water I use only to wash dishes or myself, but not to drink. For the drinking, I have another bucket. I have this tank here, which is five liter of fresh water and it's more than enough for me and Dylan. To clean inside here, I had a um, vacuum cleaner, but uh, unfortunately uh, it broke. So I bought a new one over here, which is a very good vacuum cleaner, not that expensive. And I have this long cord that I can put in my battery 12 volt or in my directly in my car it's a good solution as well so what i do not like is to uh, waste plastic and have too much chemicals in here so what i do i have my tools all in boot um teeth brush in, in boot i have my toothpaste in salt it's a natural salt toothpaste i have my um, cream it's aloe vera 100 percent then if i have some makeup on and um i want to wipe it away only this pads here that i can wash and use again i also have some sponge in natural fiber yeah, I look after all this stuff that I can use and just wash it and reuse it, not have too much uh, garbage. What I also have is are these pads here, which are to wash my clothes. There are 60 pads in here and you can make a, a whole wash machine f only with one pad. So if you have not so much clothes, you can just cut it in half and use only the half of it. I have also a small <laughs> wash machine, which is with this um, things here. You just put it in the middle and you have the plug in like a um, USB. And yeah, you put water in it, a pad like this, your dirty clothes like a t-shirt and and uh, and underwear and whatever and this is um, the machine just turns so it's like a machine and you can also wash inside here no problem what I also have is uh, this thing here that I can wash my um, dishes normally in the campsite I go uh, in the in the um, department where I can wash my dishes. But if I have to wash it in here, I have all these things for the clothes, for the dishes. Also have this one here. It's a little bit of waste, but it helps a lot. If you have just to also deal on if he's dirty on the back, I just can use this one here to wipe him away his dirt or his feet when uh, we come in, not mess up the whole camping uh, van. I honestly prefer to go to the campsite because I take my shower, my warm shower, and uh, I can uh, wash my dishes and I can learn, um, know someone else, and talk with someone. I mean, I prefer to go to the campsite, but I always think if. <laughs> that is something that my father had. He always was prepared for the emergency and he kept doing this his whole life. So he, I think he, he just gave it to us and I have the same problem <laughs> that I want to be prepared for everything so I want to be sure that I'm off grid here inside without any help and I can survive in some way <laughs> so this is a bit something that I have that is why I have also my boot stove because if I don't have any electricity 
if I have to take some wood because I don't have here, I have this tool here and this tool here is all by hand, but I can use it if I need some wood in the nature. Yeah, so <coughs> I still have a cough. It is nearly two weeks that I'm sick because I had this bad flu and after the bad flu I had sinusitis which is the hole here it was everything was plenty of mucus and I also had a stomach problem probably because I threw up so many times that my stomach was um, inflammated I don't know if I, I can say that so I had took something for my stomach and uh, also for my sinusitis and I still have to do it some um, inhalation with um, some um, natural plants yeah I'm not on I'm not a uh, hundred percent I'm still having a little bit trouble uh, also with my legs my legs hurt a lot and I don't know if it's because normally I I move a lot around and these two weeks I was really not moving too much so I think it can could be that my circulation is a little bit stuck in my in my legs but yeah I try now to make some massage and make some uh, training to get back my legs like before. Today it was a little bit snowing and now it, it rains. It's uh, quite humid and cold but from tomorrow on it's, uh, the sun must come out again. I don't know if I have to, if I want to go somewhere uh, very near from here, Bosco Burin, which is a skiing place in, uh, in the wall, uh, valley over here, but I have to see. And if I go, I go alone because Stilan is too cold to go in this place. Uh, there is already snow, it's quite cold and probably I don't have any campsite so I have to use my wood stove in the night and it's not guaranteed that I can keep the warm in here so I prefer to go alone but I have to see if I go I make a video again so yeah this video is finished I hope you enjoyed this small video about uh, the hygiene and see you next time. Bye.